While we collectively freaked about the Zika virus, you may have missed the detachable plane, the bionic eye implant, and more affordable exo legs. Welcome to, in case you missed it's Bionic Superhero Edition, starting with the medical professionals who might need these chair leg things, saving lives and their joints because they can. A Berkeley-based robotics company is rolling out a $40,000 exoskeleton suit for pre-order now. That price is a lot less than other suits out there, so it could be a real solution for those with neurological conditions. The Suit X is aimed at children in particular, since they can often train their bodies and muscles to walk upright and set themselves up for a lifetime of improved mobility. Also, we'd just like to say, why didn't Professor X have an exosuit? We don't get it. Australian scientists are testing a fully implantable eye. When can you get some? I, I don't know such stuff. I just do eyes. Created by scientists at University of New South Wales, the Phoenix 99 lets patients see using a combination of special glasses and an ocular implant. A camera in the glasses feeds data to the implant, which then stimulates nerve cells in the retina, sending signals to the visual cortex of the brain. The team says the bionic eye could restore vision to millions of people suffering from retinitis pigmentation problems and macular degeneration. What keeps us going with this research is that we know that it, the end point is someone that uh, really can't see anything, is that you're going to be able to see something with this device. But seen Attack ships on fire off the shoulder of Orion. Probably a few years off. Catastrophic failures have accounted for less than 3% of all fatal accidents in the sky in the past 10 years, but no one wants to be on those planes. That's why a Ukrainian inventor is proposing a radical redesign for airliners. His idea? Detachable cabins that jettison from the rest of the plane and gently float back to Earth under a canopy of parachutes. It sounds like a good idea until someone secretly replaces the parachutes with camping supplies. And finally, if you know any physicist, you probably know this one. He's kind of the evil Knievel of science stunts. He's in this pool to demonstrate that water molecules are packed much tighter than air by firing an assault weapon at himself from about three meters away. Bullet hole free with safety goggles. He's got it all figured out. This episode was brought to you by Go90.